in this episode let us explore how to write the program for this problem yes a program to swap two strings this happens to be one of the most frequently asked programming interview question and let's see how to write a java code for this swapping means exchanging in fact in one of my episode series called the technical interview questions episodes 19 to 25 are all dedicated for various kinds of programs that can be asked on swapping for a young job aspirant in fact if you would notice in this list swapping of strings is not there obviously swapping of strings is something which we need to understand in this episode but just in case you are a viewer who has not watched all these episodes then i would strongly recommend you to stop watching this episode get back watch all these episodes and then you can continue watching this episode and for those who have watched all of this let us proceed and understand how to swap two strings presuming that you have watched all the suggested episodes on swapping let me at the beginning itself convey to you that this episode which is on the swapping of strings is completely different from all the previous episodes that you have watched if you ask how is it different let me tell you that in case of swapping of strings we actually don't swap strings yes we don't swap strings actually what we would be swapping is the references to the strings confused let me explain let me begin by creating a string object x with abc as the data this is the java code for it and in the form of an animation i can depict it like this similarly i would need a second string as well if i have to swap so i would create a second string y with the data as tech this is the java code this is the animated representation i need to swap it and if i have to swap i would need a third variable called temp so i create a string called temp and initialize it to an empty string this is the java code and again in the animation this is how it looks well i need to swap the string abc and tech even before i swap i don't want to alter the way it is appearing now so i take a copy of this and here is where i would demonstrate as to how exactly the swapping happens so if you'll ask me what next well you know the three lines of code which will help you to swap these are the three lines of code yes now what is the impact of each of this line is what i have to demonstrate to you let us look at the first line temp equal to x well as a unseasoned programmer you might read it as temp equal to x but as a seasoned programmer what you have to understand here is that temp x y all of those happen to be references yes you can notice that they are all references so if at all they are references you shouldn't read that statement as temp equal to x rather you should be reading it as let temp point to the same place where x is pointing that is how you actually have to read that statement so i would go ahead and do whatever i have told i repeat let temp point to the same place where x is pointing and when i'll implement it this is the change that happens well the second line x equal to y again you shouldn't be reading it as x equal to y because x and y are references so i have told you how you have to read it you should be reading it as let x point to the same place where y is pointing and when i would implement that this is what happens yes x is now pointing to the same place where y is pointing and not just that the last line that y equal to temp well in case of y equal to temp it means y points to the same place where temp is pointing and this is what happens so for the time being forget about the empty string and the temp just look at x and y this is how things were before i 
executed these three lines and this is how things look later and you can watch it that actually the strings abc and tech have not got swapped it is the references that have got swapped initially x was pointing to abc now x is pointing to tech and y which was pointing to tech is now pointing to abc and this is what i told you that in case of swapping of strings we actually don't swap strings rather what we would be swapping is the references anyway even before i swap these lines will print what x and y were pointing to initially and these lines would print what x and y would be pointing after swapping this is the complete program and when i'll execute this is the output i'm sure you've been able to understand as to how to swap two strings but you have been successful in swapping the strings by making use of the third string called temp in the interviews you may be asked a question to swap two strings without using the third string called temp how do you really do it well it's for you to figure it out do comment your answer to me i would be waiting for your answers and just in case you find an answer to this difficult you know what you have to do just enroll to our classroom training we would make you perfect in terms of programming perfect in terms of every aspect in order to shape you as a well rounded software professional anyway for now i am waiting for your replies do reply and to gain knowledge continue watching this episode series